and turn. There we go. And he's out of there. Double hammer brutality. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Boros is back. And what do we have now? We did a Boros equipment. Very, very popular. But you know what we got to do, man? A Boros Dwarves. Um, dwarves finally got kind of good in Kaldheim. Um, and they're kind of even better now. Um with more equipment, more tricks, more traps, more treats, and definitely with Bruinor Battlehammer, uh, our star of the show tonight. Um, so, we're going to take a look at this Dwarf Tribal deck. I was thinking about doing a Dwarf Tribal uh, Mardu, but I think right now Boros will suffice. So, uh, before we get started, you know I need you to do something for me before we get to this shakedown breakdown here, guys. And that is, of course... Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Don't destroy it. Don't smash it. Because if you don't, the like and subscribe will come and attack you and maul you with his werewolf claws. You can join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. Uh, and you too can join in on the fun, live and in person. You can check us out on our Discord community if you have any questions or comments want to talk all things mtg arena and of course this deck and all the others can be found down below uh on my aether hub all those links are in the description go check them out so what are we looking at dwarf hole champion a common that is very good um she's got a shield there but a low toughness but if you give her equipment she becomes a 3-3 as a common dwarf warrior that's going to get dropped pretty early on um she is, uh, she's pretty good. Courage is neither the shield or axe, but the wield the will, both in defense of the innocent. Cool stuff. Very paladin -y. Like it. Um, so we have, um, we have three, four of her. Because she's a comet, she's a good fill out the thing. Rally the ranks. Really like it. Uh, rally the ranks. Choose a creature type. Creatures the chosen get 1-1. One, one. Uh, very, very nice. I like this. Now, you can also, if you don't have that, you can use paladin. Rally the Ranks or Paladin class will do either one just fine. I like to do Rally the Ranks because I've been leaning heavy on Paladin. So I'm kind of just going with that one. Of course, choose Dwarf. Magda. I put three of her in here because she is a lightning rod. People will kill her immediately. Other Dwarves you control get plus one. Very, very useful. Whenever a Dwarf you control tax, create a treasure token. Unbelievably useful because we have multiple Dwarves. Um, and when it's any Dwarf attacks, we get treasure. Um, and... Her last ability is not useful, which is sacrifice five treasure, search your library for an artifact or treasure or uh, dragon. So um, even though we can look for a dragon, we might just want to look for a treasure, which is going to be, um, I mean, not a treasure, but an artifact uh, in case of emergencies. But the other two, very, very much so. Helps you ramp and, of course, um, gives everybody an attack bonus. Rune of Speed. I put three of these, but honestly, Rune of Sustenance is not a bad idea either. If you want to split the difference, if you want to do two to one or one to two. Uh, Enchant Permanent. When Rune of Speed enters the battlefield, draw a card. Uh, so that's card draw for two. Uh, enchanted, as long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it gets plus one in haste. As long as Enchanted Permanent is equipment, it gets one one in haste. So anytime anybody equips the engraved, ruined... Um, card uh, piece of equipment here they get haste which is nice to put on a piece of equipment so that if somebody hits the board they can wield a weapon or armor and immediately get haste very useful vault robber kind of a forgotten uh kaldheim dwarf but you can exile a creature card from your graveyard and create a treasure token on turn three which can start helping you build more and more treasure as you go he's also a pretty beefy one three for early blockers good for against those uh fast goblins coming in he can block pretty decently and again a common card so we're not getting too expensive here fighter class uh dwarves fight they fight with axe and shield and hammer so why not um 
When fighter class enters the battlefield, search your library for an equipment card, reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle. Equipment abilities activate cost two less to activate. Whenever a creature you control attacks, up to one creature blocks, this combat is able. So you can force people to block, you can make equipment cheaper, um, and then of course you can just find some equipment and get ready to go with it. Uh, speaking of equipment, Cole the Forge Master, he's making the Tyrite Sword there. Um, very, very cool stuff. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return uh, it to its owner's hand. Okay, so if it has equipment on it, when it dies, you get to return it. Very, very useful. A 2-2 Dwarf Warrior, legendary creature, we can put it down. Um, and we're going to show you a trick with this one, too. He's going to have that secondary ability. Creature tokens that are enchanted or equipped get plus one, plus one. I'm going to show you why that's interesting rip apart um as mr mcbash said how good card would this card be if it was instant fortunately it's a sorcery enchantment and artifact control for two mana plus three damage to anybody or a planeswalker very very good um if it went face or if it was instant man it would have to be a rare or mythic rare it is a really good card with some really sweet art um, very, very cool stuff here. Uh, that is our control card. Rip people down, destroy some early things, slow down the aggro, and of course get rid of those pesky enchantments and uh, artifacts. Maul of the Skyclave. Uh, who better to wield this heavy hammer than, of course, none other than our dwarf lords and their halls made of stone. Um, and uh, Maul of the Skyclave enters the battlefield. You auto-attach it. Uh, plus two, plus two, and first strike and flying, which means that they pick it up and go flying through the sky and bring it down uh, in a gigantic overhead smash anime style that leaves a huge crater. Um, very, very good stuff. Its equip is a little bit more expensive, but we don't worry about that. Um, it kind of makes it worth it if you etch the Rune of Speed onto it so that anytime somebody comes in, if you can auto-equip um, all the Skyclaves, it's really good. And I'm going to show you another trick about that, too. Plate Armor. Um, equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and has ward one. Uh, pretty good. Plus three, plus three for three is pretty decent. Heavy armor there. Um, we all know that dwarves love wearing heavy armor. And it doesn't slow them down from encumbrance. If you're a D&D &D player, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and it costs one less to equip for each other equipments you control. So all the ma mauls and other plate armor you have will help out. Runeforge Champion. Whenever Runeforge Champion enters the battlefield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a rune card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle, you may pay runes f one, then it's rune cost. So he will pull a rune card out of the deck or out of the graveyard. So if something with rune got destroyed, he will let you recover it, and he lets you play it for one random mana instead. Of course, a dwarf warrior, two, three, very nice. A dwarf barbarian here. Uh, another common, uh, when plundering barbarian enters the battlefield, smash the ta chest, destroy target artifact, or pry it open, create a treasure. So he will help you ramp as things go by. Um, we want a little bit more treasure. Talk about forge the Tyrite sword. Create treasure tokens. Then you can search your library for a card named Halvar God of Battle or an equipment card, reveal it, and put it into your hand and shuffle. So a little bit more ramp. I don't know if I like forge the Tyrite sword. We might swap it out for something. You certainly don't have to choose it. Um... I just kind of liked it for a little extra treasure. Um, it felt right having coal in there. Now we get to the things that really, really start ripping. Bruinor Battlehammer, a common, I mean an uncommon dwarf warrior. Each equip creature, uh, each each creature you control gets plus two, plus zero for each equipment attached to it. Very powerful there. Uh, and then you pay may zero rather than equip uh, the cost of the first equip ability you activate each turn. So that means plate armor and maul the skyclaves if you have uh bruno or battle hammer out cost zero to equip which is amazing so you put somebody down you have bruno out uh equip maul the sky cam hammer on them for free it's got rune of speed boom pick up the maul go ham go haste uh bruno and they get plus two for that so maul will give them uh plus four plus two flying first strike that is brutal uh equip them with the maul and plate armor and they're basically invincible and then a surprise one, guys. He doesn't really... You wouldn't think of him putting him in a dwarf deck, but let me tell you why uh, he's useful. Harafri Ghost Wards, dwarf, uh, dwarf Cleric. Um, he will help 
build your back end here. Spirits you control have plus one, plus one, and have trample and haste. Whenever a, uh, well, we don't really have any spirits, but hey, listen. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, exile it. If you do, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's a spirit in addition to its other type. And it has, when this creature leaves the battlefield, return exiled guards as graveyard. So anything, any dwarf that dies, he will bring them back as a spirit, a spirit token. Spirits get plus one, plus one, and they're the same thing. Guess what? Equipped spirits have plus one, plus one. Equipped or enchanted spirits have plus one, plus one. Ah, it's still a dwarf. It gets plus one from dwarves, and you can rally the ranks. It's still a dwarf. It gets plus one, plus one. So an equipped spirit is going to have like plus four altogether. And if you shove plate armor on it and give it a maul, you're going to have a spirit dwarf that can bring down the heavens. Very, very cool stuff you can do with a uh, Hoffrey. Um, with as much uh, removal and destruction as they have, Hoffrey will help you out. One cave of the frost dragons, one den of the bugbear, just for the just for the fun of it, just for a little bit of extra attacking power, just in case we get wiped. Uh, eight planes, eight mounts, two, three needle verge path pathways, and just for funsies, I threw in a Tyrite Sanctum because we do have a decent amount of legendary cards. They can become a god, and then we can sacrifice them and make them indestructible. An indestructible Hoffrey or Bruno Battlehammer can turn the tide in a long game. Um, very, very, very useful. Yeah, you like that combo? Fishbones likes that combo. Um, so let's take a look at the details here. 2.6 average. Pretty much in mid-range territory. Um, pretty much split down the middle uh, with 27 and 25. 20 creatures, all of them dwarves. A lot of them warriors. You can use any of your warrior abilities with this one. So don't forget to resolute strike or whatever if you want to add them. Uh, rogues, clerics, lots of stuff. Nine enchantments, five artifacts, four sorceries, 22 lands total. We look at it in the alternate view here. Boom, 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 boom. Um, that's what we're looking like. Um... Dwarf Champions, we really get the two drops. The three drops aren't really that many creatures, but a lot of equipment and enchantments. And then, of course, we have the Legends over here. Remember, we have a lot of Legends. That's why I included Tyrite Sanctum. Magda, Cole, Bruinor, and Hoffrey. We have uh, four Legends in this. So Tyrite Sanctum could be a game changer. Uh, no pun intended. So why don't we take it for a spin and see how she flies. Yeah, um, McBash, I don't know if you were here when CGB, he's come to the stream a few times, um, and Stignox actually bought him a subscription, so, um, he's actually mentioned me a few times on his stream. Uh, so we're starting to, starting to shake the, starting to shake the cage a little bit. There's Gabos, yep. We're already dead. I don't have any removal in my hand, so we're already dead, and he was on the play, naturally. Um, we're already dead versus Gabos. With no removal and on the play, you're dead. Um, see? He's going to hit me with... Ooh, nice mountains. Are those bomb? Oh, it's Rebecca Goy. Okay. Tormentor's Helm. See that? That's how that's how bad things go for you if you get gobbles if the, if gobbles are on the play. Um, luckily, I just drew Rip Apart. Luckily. Uh, which is absolutely what I needed. Alright. There we go. Rip Apart would be an amazing... It would almost be too good if it was an instant, to be perfectly honest with you. It would be suspiciously good. Um, he 
it would be dangerously cheesy. He can do three damage. I'm just going to let that go through. I don't even want to deal with that. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do... Um, Bruinor. Battle Hammer. I'm going to do a push. I'm going to do this. Auto pay. Then, of course, we get a mall. And then we put the mall down on Bruinor Battle Hammer. So now he is really powerful. There you go. He's going to equip that. Let's see what else you got, my guy. Um, I don't even think it's worth, um, I don't even think it's worth freaking blocking. I don't know how much, oh, uh, well, he can do four anyways. Yeah, let's try to block him and see what happens. He can do four damage. Do it right to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah, you're done, Pants. Sorry, Pants. You got split. Oh. Oh, Pants got split. Um, yeah, it is possible if they don't get that freaking Battle Cry Goblin out. Um, I don't know if you've been up to date on the new um, mechanics, McBash, but Pack Tactics? Lord have mercy. Um... Lord have mercy if you get pack tactic. Battlecry Goblin is a 2-1. Whenever you attack with 6 or more power, it creates a 1-1 one, one Goblin tapped at attacking. You can pay a red and a colorless to give all Goblins plus 1 in haste. Ooh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of pipe to swing right there. Um, and when you're, when you're stacking, when you put him down, you give everybody haste, put everybody down juice everybody up multiple times it's um it's not good let me just put it that uh gabos i mean gabos plays gabos should they're aggressive um <sighs> treasure vault that's an artifact land i'm probably going to destroy oh okay double o kenny did not want any um yeah, if you run early removal against Gabos, if you have cheap removal, uh, if you're running... Like, Rakdos is the worst thing. Like, Rakdos will eat fucking goblins up if you're running... Um, look at that. Essica, god of the tree. Um, yeah, if you're running... If you're running a heavy amount of removal and you just keep hitting them and hitting them, or sweepers... Um, my goblin deck was called Goblin D's. Um... Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun, man. It's a lot of fun. Um, this has no red mana, which is not good. Um, that's much better. I will get rid of... Fighter class. I th No, you know what? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Coal. But coal is so good. Damn, that's a that's a good hand. I need that. I need I need fighter class. Oh man, but fighter class is so good. Oh. Let's get rid of dwarf hold. Yeah, it feels it feels better, man. Even when you get beat, you don't get beat unfairly, man. Um, I mean, there's still the guys playing, you know, lockout Azorius and stuff like that, but. Uh, you're getting beat by new and interesting things, um, which is uh, which is a nice change. Golgari is very strong. Um, he has a destroy card, and he doesn't know if he wants to do it. He does. Saw your vault video earlier. Oh, okay, thank you, man. Yeah, if you don't understand how the vault works, uh, 
you got to use those cards, man. You got to start racking out all, get all four copies of everything, man. That's your best bet right there. You get all four copies of everything with those wild cards you aren't using, and that will take you where you want to go. All right, let's put down Vault Robber, as a matter of fact. I've actually had long games now. I've actually had really long games, um, which is which is amazing. I mean, long games used to be the thing of the past. It was either you got aggroed or you got uh, or you got fucking soft locked out of the game. Uh, it wasn't anything. It wasn't anything in between. Um, you know, you get soft locked with. Um, Okay, so let me tell you, when 2020 first dropped and D&D &D first, first hit the field, mid-range was where it was at. Mid-range was where it was at. And then the game started getting faster again. Um, the game started getting really fast again. Uh, but for a while, man, you, you weren't doing nothing if you weren't wanting mid-range. Like, it was like 80-90% mid-range. And... Um, No, you don't have to make a deck. All you have to do is craft the cards. Um, all you have to do is click right, and I'll show you how to do it, man. You're confusing me. Um, okay, so let's haste. Let's put haste on him. I just want to draw the card. I need a, I need a mana here. See, Janes. No, you can craft the cards. You can just go to collection and craft the cards. You don't have to actually make a deck. I'll show you in a minute, Redacted. All right, we'll do that. Um, exile him. We'll rob the uh, crypt. Rob the vault for a little treasure. I feel bad for people who join with Eldraine and are used to Eldraine and all of a sudden have to deal with this. Um, is he going to hit the Ruin or is he going to hit Vault Robber? Amphibian Gamer, you must not be familiar with Jay's extremely famous or perhaps infamous um, uh, Pyre deck. It is absolutely, uh, it is absolutely uh, viable. Absolutely viable. Uh, if you want to take a look at it, go find... Uh, Read Light the Pyre, or um, what is it called? Holy Fire? I can't remember the one. Uh, it's absolutely probably one of my best decks that I've built. It's an Angel Cleric Pyre deck. Um, and it's absolutely, it's absolutely, it even got better with Dawnbringer Cleric. Um, this guy's literally stopped running nothing but removal so far. That's all I've seen him run. Um,. Horafri Ghost Forge. Um, yeah, I, I've wanted to update it. I haven't been able to update the Orzov version yet. I will eventually. Um, but I think it's, I mean, it doesn't have veto in it. It doesn't have veto in it. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, this guy's literally just stocking removal. Uh, he's oh, the only cards he's played. He's played four removal cards and a dwarf. Um, Zombie Pyre. That would be an interesting one, man. Um, burnt Flesh. I'll have to work at that one, man. Uh, I, think, I think we don't have that yet. I don't think we're there. Um... Uh, let's see, we're going to lose three life. Um, we're going to Runeforge Champion. Um, 
search my graveyard, ruin of speed. So if you just want to replace him with Vito's daughter, uh, it's not going to be as effective, but it's still going to be pretty effective. Um, let's see. I will discard a card. I think I don't need fighter class. Oh, look at that. Yeah, he's literally running nothing but removal here. He's ran five removal cards. Got rid of the hammer. Good call, man. Good call. Um, so let us uh, do this. Um, cast with the Forge Champion. Draw that card. Put down Cave of the Frost Dragon. Take that, and then we're going to make him one sad panda. Rip apart. Zombie. Oh, man. It's Innistrad, bro. Zombies, clerics, vampires, werewolves, all that. Oh, it's going to rip people up, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No no way. No way that, that stuff's not going to be good. It's going to be damn fine. All right, so let's do, let's do, um, Hoffrey Ghost Forge. He's probably got another removal in his hand. Man, Diagraph Colossus, man, I remember I had a Demir Zombie deck. Zombie Giants, yeah, Diagraph Colossus was a fucking... It was a literally just made. It was like a graveyard that walked around. It's awesome. Um, okay, so he can go after Harafri and he'll leave Runeforge alone, or he can kill Runeforge and end up coming back. And oh, it's going to come back as a. It's going to come back as a spirit. Someone is not reading their cards. Yeah, search my uh, graveyard. Rune of Speed, thank you. Skeleton Swarming, that's what he was looking for. I think that's going to be a bit too slow at this point. Um, so we're going to do... Equipment. Yes. There we go. Dwarves off to a great start here, guys. Dwarves off to a great start. I also want to say thanks. To all the new guys, um, we're almost at 3,000 subs, man. Um, Lord have mercy on us. Uh, we're almost there, guys. Yeah, he was a little late getting skeleton swarming out. A little late getting skeletons. He could have a wipe right here. He could have Shadow's Verdict. Well, I don't even think that'll help. Deadly Dispute. No, he's done. He's cooked. He is cooked. Even even if he even if he wipes the board, I forgot I have Frost Dragon. Um. So yeah, he's cooked no matter what. Murder. Down in the streets, they call it murder. Yep, 
You have to block with Skullport. Village rights. One life. Um, oops, I forgot to play Rune of Speed. I'll play it on Cave of the Frost Dragon. Draw a card, it'll go back. Alright. Whoops, my bad. Could have had lethal there. Uh, I don't think he can kill me with two skeletons. Um, we'll see. It's slow. I mean, you can ramp to it, but it is slow going. But it is kind of one of those. I mean, it does what it does what it says on the tin. Um, it fucking swarms you. God help you if you get multiple of them off. Um, Katsuo. Time I'll use. Uh oh. Loth Spider Queen. I don't think that's it, Chief. Oh, okay, so he has some flying blockers. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, pop, pop. Village rights. Lost a skeleton. Gained a skeleton. Um, oh, well, that was, yeah, that was that. Um, if I do him... If I do him, um, destroy target artifact or create a treasure token. Let's do Tyrite. Next, uh, no attacks, and turn. I can't believe I'm so close here, right, man? And I for I messed it up by not playing Rune of Speed. But I think he would have killed the one with Rune of Speed on it if he saw that coming, though. Um... He might have removal. Yeah, he's got removal for it. Yeah, he's got me there. Yep. Yep, I almost screwed it up. I screwed it up. I should have put Rune of Speed on the Cave of the Frost Dragon um, earlier, and I'd have done that one damage. I kept thinking this was the one that... I, I kept forgetting that I, it gave it plus one. I kept thinking it just gave it haste. Uh, because the one that gives it death touch and lifelink don't get any bonuses. Um, uh, absolutely screwed that up. That's my bad. Well, here's the thing. He had an instant death. He had an instant destruction. Uh, he may have plopped me out. He may have hit me out on that one. So, I mean, there's not, I don't have any. I don't have very much um, indestructible or any resistance against the removal. And he was hitting me with a lot of removal. Um, what 
What do you want to bet he's going to kill that Magda immediately? He's got his Aureus backs here, so we'll find out. I'm, dubi I'm dubious I could have survived, but um, the rip apart I used on the Tegrid, yeah, he would have had to use it on that. Um, yeah, the rip apart I would have had to use on the Tegrid. If I didn't use it, I'd had it on the Skeleton Swarming, but then he would have been Tegriding me. So, uh, it's hard to say. Yeah, that's going to die immediately, naturally. Uh, it always gets killed. All right, we do that. Counterspell. Oh, oh, I thought it was a uh, counterspell. Will this actually survive? I don't know. Let's find out. And the thrilling conclusion of dwarves. Um, no, it will not. He will use two of his removals to get rid of it. Um, amazing. Nature is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, draw a card. Put down the white mana. Uh, let's see what we got here. I'm guessing a Demir Snow Control. Um, I'm guessing heavy on that. Uh, so let's do... Let's do Bruinor. Let's see if he's got that counter spell ready to go. Nope, he doesn't. He probably has another removal. Probably poison the cup. Yep, there it is. Um, he gets to scry too as well. Kind of curious as to what exactly his goal is here. He's going to Faceless Haven me. Okay. All right. Let's see if he's got a removal on me. He might, yeah, he's got a Soul Shatter. Yeah, it's a full-on, full-on destruction. Man, I'm hitting removal after removal. Look at that. That's literally all he's played is removal. Mordenkind and removal, yeah. You don't need to do anything else if you can get Mordenkind and out. Um, you really don't. He starts with such a high, uh, just an absolutely freaking out of this world high uh, loyalty count. He starts with five and you can add two, so you can't even burn him up like a lot of the other ones. Yep, more removal. Yeah. Yeah, I can thank CGB for this list. Um, this is just man lands. That's all it is. It's literally just more than kind and control. You you don't ever play a you don't ever play a creature. Um, it's ultimate control. You just basically sit there. So you do I I tyrant and faceless haven. Um. And that's it. And just run control. Because you're going to get unlimited cards um, with Mordenkainen. So you're always going to get what you need. And unless you have direct Planeswalker removal, you're never going to get anything out. Um, you can keep trying. It's never going to happen. That's not a creature, man. That's a token. Search my graveyard. Rune of Speed. Uh, he's probably stocking. He's probably stocking removal or wipes, or he's just got all the removal on the whole world. I don't know. Um, he's going to do the blue dog. More removal. The dog is the removal, is the win con. Uh, pff, 
probably a counter spell or a removal. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm freaking shocked here, guys. Yeah, he's going to flunk that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh my goodness, it didn't work. Um, and we put a Ruin of Speed on the ball. Draw a card. All right, and then we Rally. And we do Dwarf. And we attack face. It's going to be 16 damage right there, folks. So let's do... Uh, uh, let's see here. Fighter. That's all we can do. We didn't draw another creature. All right. We can get out plate armor. And poison the cup. There it goes. Yep. I don't know why he didn't play that way earlier. Good game. Yeah, that's the creatureless uh that's the creatureless destruction right there. Um it's it's literally nothing but removal and counter spells. Raven, what's up, man? Um, Stormblood, I see you, man. Yeah, I love it, man. I love seeing familiar. We just got somebody back. We got McBash back. He's an old, old McBash. Were you here when I had sub one hundred subs? When I had below a hundred subs, I think you were here. Will River Hawk is here too. I see him lurking. The Council of Birds. How many more birds do we have? Raven, you missed it last night. We have another bird. Um, he's, uh, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember. He's a bird. He's something there. What's the, what's the bird guy's name, man? Um, we have a new bird. Oh, yeah, I mean subs on... Uh, subs on youtube yeah you're probably sub 100 i know that this i didn't i wasn't even affiliate yet when you first started walking duck laquack yeah duck laquack is here so we have a guy who's duck uh to join the council of birds um yes the glorious founders badge um glorious founders badge. duck laquack is here and um he is eager to join the council of birds So we have a duck, rooster, three ravens, a hawk, uh, evolving wilds. Where are my lands? Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for coming by. Uh, glad to have you. Uh, he is going to spend his burn to get rid of that, and I'm going to put down another one. Council of Bones. Hey, Stignox, man. Good luck, man. Keep us updated, all right? Um, keep us updated, my guy. Fang discipline discard a card I don't know if I need I don't know if I need that plunder no I do need the creature I don't need I'll, I'll, I'll go for the planes okay we do maul
Oof. Okay. Good luck, Stig. Amphibian, thank you for coming by, man. I'm glad you could make it too. Um, yeah, that was a good call. Okay, so we do uh, that. We create a treasure. Let me put one of those out. We auto pay. And then we swing. Poof. Um, and then we put down. Do we put down another dwarf champion? No. He may have a wipe. Let's hold one back. Kalein, Reclusive Painter. It doesn't look like this is going correctly for him. Um, it doesn't really seem like what he wants to happen is happening. So let's put down Plate Armor. Let's put down Plate Armor on Dwarf Champion. And then let's swing, swing. I kind of have to block that one with Kalein. If you haven't figured it out, McBash, treasure's a big thing now. Uh, treasure's real big. Real big. So unless he's got a lot of different removal right now, it's, uh, it's not looking good for home team here. Everybody like Elven Nation Army? I thought nobody would get it, and it was the first comment. Do, 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 do. Did you see Prof's? I know you used to watch Prof. Did you see Prof's video about the guy, the terrible commander players? Um... And uh, he had the one guy that was uh, very nice. He had the one guy who was like, I have a Simic ramp to nothing uh, building uh, that has no win con. And he's like, well, what's your commander? And he goes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, I didn't realize Simic do nothing was like such a mean. Um, but... It's just, I mean, it's real, bro. The struggle is real, real, man. Like, I don't even know what some dudes are doing with Simic, man. Oh, looks like I'm locked in a game. Carl, you get your wish. You get to see it in action. Yeah, I thought of that for Cole's, um, I thought of that for Cole's. If you start making, um, if you start making tokens, whoa, what a, what a bad hand. Um... If you start making tokens, Cole is going to help you out a lot, especially if you have the equipment left over. Uh, I think Tyrite is not really necessary. All right, let's see how she flies here, guys. Let's see how she does. All right, he's doing that. While he's doing that... I'm going to be doing this. Tiny men slapping people. I have a feeling we're going to get uh, either destroyed or we're going to get an angel out right now. Vanishing verse on the, on the mall. Interesting. Good choice, man. Smart. Um... So let's rip you apart. We have an extra one and we can keep doing damage here. Oof. There you go. Yeah, I mean, I just didn't like it in my hand. I, I don't know if it really fits thematically. I'm thinking of maybe something else, a little bit uh, of a bigger upgrade. Um, it really just depends. Um, it does work. It just, it's just okay, really. Um... Raging Barbarian, Plundering Barbarian, we can create a treasure token. Okay, 
and we can put a dwarf hold and rip apart. I like it. It's really more for a Halvar deck. I mean, at the end of the day. Oh, I know who's getting ripped apart. I know who's getting ripped apart. I have a feeling that's a Doomscar. Um... Ought to pay. You gonna take it, or are you gonna lose your uh, impassioned order? You gonna take it? Then we're gonna get Doom Scarred or uh, Poison the Cup. Ah, oh, there it is. I knew one was coming. You can't. You you can't have the. You can't have the pasta without the sauce here. Um, let's do this. Um. Oh yeah, the rip apart art is amazing. Yeah, we want that hammer. We want that hammer. Another Righteous Valkyrie. Okay, he's going to gain a little life here. But uh, we're going to be coming in hammer style. Um, we have a Bruinor, which is really important. Um, you don't go in. You go in. Okay, he wanted it. Let's see. Claret class. Poison the cup. Whenever you gain life. Uh, oh, nope. Okay, so now we go Bruinor. Um, now we swing. Now we swing. Ooh. Ooh. And then we switch. Ooh. Doomscar. Cleric life spawn. Yeah, we knew that was coming. He's going to be unhappy with what happens next, though. He hasn't even been able to touch me yet, I don't think. Oh, shit. Oh, man, I needed, I needed two white for that. Oh, Auto Shuffler, why'd you do me like that, man? Auto Shuffle, you do me dirty like that, bro. Should have gave me two red. Man, Auto Shuffler, bro. Black Spawn. Thank you for coming. Oh, also, I forgot to say hello to uh, Mr. Elmronic Frank for subscribing with Prime. Um, oh, damn. Damn. That's all I gotta say. There we go. Black Knight's button. How you doing, man? Gold Skull level, man. Passion Orator. He doesn't have the removal yet. He is pushing that guy up pretty high, though. But watch this. You have to fight me. You have to do it. It has to happen. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, I 
know that didn't feel good. I know it didn't feel good, buddy. Yeah, now you got now you got freaking land. Nah, no, buddy. That's rough. No blocks. We'll take it. Uh, Ruin of speed. Let's switch you to you. Um, next. Oh, you're thinking, but Jay, can he come in with the big boy? Yeah, he can. That's why we switch old Hammer to Miss Dwarf Holder here. Cave of the Frost Dragon. Um, next. Um... Next. Submit zero. Boom. All right, now you pick up these hammers. There you go. Yeah, that's right. Pick up the hammers. And turn. go and he's out of there double hammer brutality nice uh hammer would have just let me fly through um but no sir it wanted to say you can get some land all right last one guys Last one. Yeah, I, I can't think of... I'm trying to think of what can give stuff vigilance. Um, crush the weak. Yeah. Redeemer, yes. We're actually having some decent success with it. Um, when we're not just drawing land. Uh, Vault robber, no. That's a bad opening. That's a pretty decent opener, actually. Um... Where's Carl when you need him, man? Carl's here to pump up. Uh, Carl here is always here to pump up. Uh, pump up the jam. Pump it up. He loves Boros. Removal. Yep. Bit of a waste, but okay. I mean, if he has all removal, I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, let's do Reinforged Champion. Search my library. Might have to put the Rune of Sustenance in there, too. Um, just for the memes. Halvar Sword, yeah. Halvar is the god. I guess if I don't play the god version... Uh, if I just play the other version. Um, Blood Chief's Thirst on a four kicker. Let's see if I can call it. Oh, Draco Lich. Interesting. Oh, somebody doesn't know what first strike is. Uh, let's do Magda. And he's out of there. Yeah, that's what first strike does, my guy. It makes you strike first. It's an important lesson to learn there. All right. We're going to leave it there. Um... Rune of Substance, Halvar Sword, all very good options. 20 gems, look at that. Um, 
You'd think you'd know how first stripe. Uh, yes, shame scoop for the win. Carl, there he is, man. We were just talking about you, man. We did dwarves. We're done, man. We just finished Boros Dwarves. Uh, of course, um, the word of the day is going to have to be short because we all know just dwarves are short. Um, so we're going to get to the shakedown breakdown in a second, but we're done with that. Uh, we might play a bonus game for Carl, a uh, big Boros fan here. Um, until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. <laughs>